So say you're at a conference and you know no one. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Today on The Journey, we're gonna talk about how to turn that into an opportunity. So naturally, networking is all about what you do want out of it. You're going to have some kind of personal investment here. You want to maybe get a job, mm -hmm. new client. However, Morgan, if yeah. someone came to you just asking for things, wouldn't you feel like they're just using you? Yeah, I would appreciate it. Exactly. So you don't want to come at people that way, but you want to come bringing value and being genuine and trying to get to know them and how you can help them. So what if I know nobody at these conferences and on top of that, I'm an introvert? Mm. So I don't even want to talk to anyone, but I know I need to talk to people. What are some things I can do to overcome that? Because I am. So when you go into networking events, think about how you can help others by possibly connecting them to someone else. Yeah, if you have something to give and serve, people are more inclined to open up to you and to see you as a leader and someone they can go to rather than someone who just wants something. Right. And also, it's a good opportunity to do some pre prep work. Look online and see if you can find out any of the people like the host or some of those that may speak at these events and do your research. Find out about them. What are they interested in? What is their business about? And that may give you an opportunity to know who to connect them to. So you're saying it's OK to snoop on people on social media, right? Of course. That's actually what I did to even get this job here. Oh. So back when I was applying, I actually did what everybody else does. I applied online, but I didn't stop there. I went on to LinkedIn and I saw everyone that had the title for the role I applied. Now we all know people on LinkedIn, sometimes they don't always use their profile. I didn't stop there. I looked at all the managers of that role, connected with them. Sometimes on LinkedIn, you can see people's Twitter handle. Mm -hmm. So I went on Twitter, wow. sent them a connection Real request. Deep. Of course. <laughs> Say, hey, I just sent you a LinkedIn request. I look forward to connecting. Funny story is my soon to be manager, he and I had Twitter conversations about his love for his family and college football. Long story short, over the weeks of doing this and just interacting organically, the recruiter reached out and said, hey, we saw your resume. Would you like to come in for an interview? And here I am. So relating back to conferences, people might be a little surprised that you've done your research and that you're reaching out, but they'll actually be very appreciative of it because now they have a name to a face and it shows that you are a go-getter. And you actually want a relationship, mm -hmm. not just things from them. You yeah. want to add them to your community and be added to theirs. So the next step is to be attentive and to actively listen. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're an introvert, this is great because this is probably what you love to do. But you need to insert yourselves into these conversations at these networking tables, but then show that you're actually genuinely interested in mm -hmm. and listen and actually look at someone, put your phone away, be engaged, be present. So when you're networking, be attentive. Make sure that you pay attention to anything that was mentioned, such as a pain point, a need, something that you can actually help out with later on. And again, connecting with that person and strengthening that relationship. So if you don't have a specific goal in mind, it's okay. It's good to be in that kind of atmosphere because you never know when you're gonna benefit from having that connection to people down the line. And also, it's a good saying, in order to be interesting, be interested. Don't think about yourself all the time, but think about what you could do for others. So today we talked about how to network at a conference when you don't know anyone. Tell us in the comments below your favorite networking tip that we didn't cover. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when our next video drops. And until next time, this is The Journey.